Hey guys, so I'm going to go ahead and make a prediction. My prediction is that Magic Online will die within the next five years, meaning it will not be supported anymore. Not that it's really being supported right now. Now, what does that mean for your Magic cards? Magic Online, as a gimmick, they linked themselves to physical cards. So the reason that Magic Online is different from MTG Arena is you can redeem physical cards. That was a gimmick. And that is an absolute gimmick. No other digital game allows you to do something like that because the logistics is a nightmare. And you have to collect one of every card in the set, then you have to wait, and then you wait, and then they ship you a box with all the cards. Somebody at Wizards of the Coast is doing that. And it's probably not that much money. Uh, Magic Online had it not linked itself to physical card to the physical cardboard, probably would be a much better program. It would be cheaper to play. It would be more fun. They could spend the money on development instead of logistics. Uh, but here, here we are today, and the prices will are always going to go down. Uh, there is no hope for this Magic Online anymore now that we have MTG Arena. You can notice that it's not like Wizard of the Coast is paying Hearthstone players to play Magic Online. No, they are paying them to play Magic Arena. Everything is, all the marketing budget has gone to Magic Arena, which is very bad for Magic Online. These two cannot exist together. And let me explain why. I play a lot of mobile games. And no mobile game has the model of Magic Online where you pay $4 a pack. You pay almost retail because theoretically you're getting these cards. You could get these. You can translate these cards in real life. The reason that mobile games don't do that outside of logistics and many people living in different countries and all that good stuff, there's no need. You know, they, the transaction is just too... There's like an additional step to it because you're actually trying to get physical cards as well. Digital, you wanna make it as easy and friendly to use for a new player as possible. Uh, Magic Arena is that, you can understand it, it, you can play it, and it makes sense to a new player who's never played Magic before. Magic Online, the only people who play are sharks or pro, aspiring pros. It's horrible. Um, it is a horrible interface that no new player would ever want to. Like if someone, if you have to introduce someone to Magic and you give them Magic Online, that person is not coming back. If you want to introduce someone to Magic and you give them Magic Arena, that person will be like, okay, I get it. And then maybe they go to FNM. So that translation, actually transition works a lot better than... Uh, now, I've always said this, price is the end all be all because people can say i feel this way i'm emotional about that way i feel that blank 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 should get paid more money i feel like we should uh, have full tuition reimbursement because i went to college for blank major and i don't have a job i feel like i need a GoFundMe for ninety thousand dollars because i can't pay for health insurance or i just don't want to so these are you know opinions right Paying for health insurance, whether or not you think that the U.S. has a good health in, healthcare system, is your opinion. But facts are raw numbers. They're just numbers. And the numbers are not very good. Uh, there was a, what, 13 80, 50 for one of every card or something, one set. That is down from double. So the, the majority of Magic cards have declined 50% uh, in price. That sounds an awful like Bitcoins, to be honest, uh, during the same time period. Right after Arena was announced, you can see a drop in the value of a complete MTGO set of about 15 to 20% in a matter of weeks, exactly like Bitcoin. Uh, this drop is clearly visible even on the top of the already negative trend. You can't prove a casual relationship to the sudden drop in prices, but it should be logical the announcement of a new digital magic platform leads to anxiety regarding the future. Just about seven weeks ago, Arena went into the open beta state. The loss of value of magic online cards was visibly accelerated again. 
Again, other factors might be at play, but as nowadays we get, I love Magic Arena. I didn't expect to even like it, but I love the whole experience it provides. And Javier is not alone. So it's like a dying... Everyone thinks Magic Online is dying, therefore it is dying. And it will be gone soon. It will absolutely not exist in five years from now, given the marketing budget and where it's going. So one of the things that you need to know about investments, and if you want to know what product the company is really interested in, look at their marketing budget. Look at how many Hearthstone players they have paid to play or stream Magic Arena. Look at how many people they pay to do Magic Online. Probably zero, because who would want to stream that? So if they're spending all their marketing budget on one product and zero marketing budget on another product, that other product is eventually going to be phased out because that's just how it works. Uh, they don't have interest. Magic Online, while I'm sure it is extremely profitable even today, the cards are worth less and less money. If the cards are worth less and less money, then the only thing that's really saving it is redemption, that link. That link, be the only benefit I see in Magic Online is yes, you have older formats, but so will MTG Arena. MTG Arena will follow the same thing as playing to the Duel Walkers where you will have a extended format, which is all the cards available in MTG Arena. So once you have rotations and a few more sets, you'll have a new type of modern to play, which Magic Plane Duels of the Planeswalkers did have. So if you have any money in Magic Online, it is time to get the blank out because um, you're going to get hosed very soon. Uh, and you, if you've already lost 50% of your value, if you lost 20% during that week, it's only going to get worse. Um, it will get worse as soon as Arena Eternal is announced or the first rotation happens in September. Then there will be a new format, which is more akin to Modern. So people really enjoy Modern, which is the majority of people in Magic Online. Then there's no reason to actually play Magic Online at that point because you have a Modern-esque format in MTG Arena. And to be quite honest, MTG Arena does look very good. Uh, they spent money on building the game. It looks even better than Duel of the Planeswalkers, which I thought was significantly better than Magic Online. Magic Online, as a speculation, is probably the worst thing. Uh, I, I probably I need to go back when MTG Arena was announced and listen, and then make a screenshot all these pro MTG finance people saying that oh, Magic. Online is still going to be fine. It'll still be fine. You lost half your value. Like, how are you still fine? Like, you lost half your value. The majority of cards have gone down. And very few cards spike now because why wouldn't it need? Why just go on Magic Arena? So the other niche of Magic Online that is supposed to be at the high end of competitive play. And again, I'm skeptical at the moment with all the infrastructure placed on Magic Online and barely any on Arena things have been this way, but how will the situation present itself two to three years? So Magic Pros, they don't get paid by Wizard of the Coast, and if they want to make the most money, they're going to stream MTG Arena. They will not stream Magic Online. They have tried it in the past, and they have epically failed. No one wants to watch anyone on Magic Online. I know there's some bigger channels, but honestly, they should be streaming and are streaming MTG Arena at this point in time. Let me repeat this again. Pros are not really caring if you have rent to pay, if you have you want to live this professional lifestyle, you need a minimal of a few hundred dollars a month to pay your rent and your food and things of that nature. You cannot get that streaming Magic Online. In fact, you will spend more money on Magic Online than you probably bring in, given the pay model. You can make money, just like Hearthstone streamers, just like Brian Kibler. You can make lots of good money on YouTube and Twitch streaming MTG Arena. There is no incentive for a Magic Pro with any business sense to stream Magic Online when they can stream MTG Arena and not pay into it as much, plus the fact that they will have a larger audience because there's more new players. Contrary from what you might expect from the section titled, I would like to end on a more positive note. I believe 
that arena will bring the end of Magic Online within the next couple years. I'm going to say five years or less. Uh, the three main takeaways from this article. This is a Channel Fireball article, by the way, and most Channel Fireball quote pros have been very adamant on Magic Online in the past. Obviously, they stream it. Obviously, they put it on their YouTube channel, but they're going to move to MTG Arena because they're not idiots, right? Magic Online cards are constantly losing value. Arena is a severe threat to Magic Online's existence. Wizards can choose not to make this development a disaster for players still involved in Magic Online, but they can also choose not to care. So which one do you think Wizards is going to choose? Let me give you the... So let me end with the story of uh, Planes of the Dual Walkers. Planes of the Dual Walkers was the MTG Arena before MTG Arena. It was pretty good in my opinion. I enjoyed playing it and I did put money into it, which is kind of crazy for that type of game. But I, I enjoyed it. And right before uh, the, the news came out, so it was Amarket was being released. Our new set was being released. And then they announced that, hey, by the way, we're closing down everything. Goodbye. So let me put this in a better term. So imagine people saving their points, trying to get the new Amarket boost back. Because they have no idea that this is just going to be shut down. It was shut down right before Amaket was supposed to be released. And no one knew until like a week, until the week before they were expecting. So people were buying coins, saving coins, and all of a sudden it just abruptly shut down with no previous announcements. That's what they're going to do with Magic Online. One day, they're going to not tell anyone, and they're going to just post something and say, Hey, dudes, we're sorry. Uh, we're no longer supporting this platform. Goodbye. Because they've done it before many times. So this is not an easy transition because I've seen what they did with Magic Duels of the Planes. I was playing one day. I was getting really excited to get my new Amaket cards. I saved a lot of coins. And bam. Next day, you know, when I'm expecting Amaket to be released on the uh, video game, the on my iPad version, they make the announcement that, hey, well, we are stopping. So they knew they were going to stop. So let me give you another example of a company who does it right. Uh, Dragonborn is a card game. Many of you have not, never heard of it before, but the Dragonborn told its player base, free, I think like six months or maybe at least three months ahead of time before the new set, hey, this is our last set. Keep that in mind. That's the proper way to do it. They're going to lose money because less people will buy a game that they know is not going to produce more sets. But that's a good way for your customers, right? That's good for your customers because they can make that decision at that point. What Magic did with Magic of the Duels was they told us to keep buying coins, keep playing the game, and then abruptly with no, no prior notice, right before Amaket drops, bam, it's gone. It's gone. And that was not the way to do it, but that is the way that they're going to do with Magic Online because it is a policy. It's probably a company policy to make as much money as possible while screwing over the customers. And that's what I predict will happen to Magic Online. One day you're playing Magic Online and then there's a bug and then you get an announcement the very next day with no prior notice. Oh, by the way, we stopped supporting Magic Online. Goodbye. It happened before, it'll happen again.